there are some new things happening at Port Discovery Children's Museum this month. Here to tell us more, President and CEO Carter Arnoff Polikoff. All right, so welcome to Be More Lifestyle. So talk to us about what's happening this February at Port Discovery. Well, thank you for having me. We are so excited to talk to you about our vaccine clinics, which are taking place every Saturday. Uh, so we've got two left and um, they take place from 10 to three. We've partnered with the Johns Hopkins Hospital, the Baltimore City Health Department and um, Care First, and they're, they are sponsoring our program. And we have lots of entertainment in the museum throughout the day, but we also have these very special vaccine clinics, which are for grown-ups and kids, so mm -hmm. people can get their vaccine or their booster. And once they get them, they get a free ticket to come to the museum. They can either use it at that time or they can come back another time and use it. Okay, oh, what an amazing partnership. Why is Port Discovery hosting the COVID-19 clinics? Why was it important to you? Well, we all know that children have kind of suffered most through the, the pandemic and that mental health is one of the primary concerns facing um, youth today. And so we really know that getting them out to play and interact with one another is one of the most important things that we can do right now. And so, you know, we are so excited that the community and sponsors and funders have embraced this, but we know that the most important thing right now is just to get kids and families in the door mm -hmm. so that they can interact with one another, they can learn from one another and um, really find time to experience joy. For sure. So I have a five year old just got he got his first dose three days after his birthday. And it was very important, right, for him to kind of be surrounded with other people and that kind of love. So talk to parents about how the clinics work when they come in with their little ones. Right. So when you come in right now, there's a, actually a separate entrance. They um, are greeted by we have clinicians from Hopkins here to kind of take the scaries away from all of this. So they'll talk to the kids or the parents. Um, some grownups need some encouragement as well. And then they'll go right down and get their vaccine and get their ticket. And then we will welcome them right into the museum, the box office. And then once they get in here, we have activities throughout the museum that are um, not necessarily health related, but they are wellness related and they are dance classes we have art activities we have stem adventures going on just the whole museum is alive with activity to make it extra special for them right now all right and i should right. mention that it's also black history month and so we have um special activities going on um, as it relates to black history month as well Always a great experience whenever we come to Port Discovery. Tell our viewers again where they can go to get more information about everything that you talked about. Great. So you can always visit our website at portdiscovery.org. Um, and there's information about the vaccine clinics on your screen. Um, we do two play sessions from 10 to 1 and from 1 to 3. We do ask people to register in advance, and that way we can um, sort of monitor how many people are in the building at each time. Um, and we do have a parking garage right next to the museum, so it's very easy to get to us. Um, and you just come right down the bottom of 83, and there we are. Well, great information. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for the work that you're doing in the community. We appreciate you. We'll bring your five-year-old down. Sure will. And we're also going to post this on our website, too, foxbaltimore.com. So if anybody missed any of that, you can also find it there. We appreciate great. you being here with us. Thank you so much. Thank you.